Growing up, I used to watch my dad every night go to judo practice, and my parents put me in ballet and gymnastics, but the second they put me into judo, it seemed like this was it. This was her sport. Uh, judo is a sport of discipline, hard work, passion, a lot of heart, and that's what some of the traits I think that this sport has given me. And it's helped me with everyday life, whether it's my work ethic in school or just being on the mats and being a good person outside of judo. Today is my last training in Montreal at the Shidoken, and um, I'm not sure if I'm excited or nervous. I think I'm pretty much every emotion because as much as I'm going to be sacrificing and like leaving my family, friends, my training partners, most of all my, my culture, going from Canadian culture to Japanese, I mean, I'm going to be going from eating my chicken and potatoes to <laughs> rice and fish every day. But uh, it's, I'll be meeting new people, new friends, new experiences, some of the best training I will ever get in the world actually right now. Women's Judo in Japan, they're the top of the world right now, all the Japanese fighters and the girls at the club I'll be training at are ranked number three and four in the world so I think I can only benefit from training with people at my caliber or even higher right now and that'll give me a better shot towards the games knowing I can train with these girls, compete with them, even beat them. As an athlete, like we all love the challenge and the feeling of winning, like nothing can explain the feeling you have when you win a gold medal. Like, words cannot describe the feeling and all that hard work and dedication, all those hours of waking up early and training night after night, like day after day. Like, all those hours finally, finally pay off and it's the greatest feeling. The Olympic Games is, has always been my goal. Basically, I have to get five big results in the next two years in order to qualify. But I think training in Japan with the girls there in my division, they're number three and four in the world. I think training with them every day is really going to boost me to the next level. I wouldn't say I'm scared. More um, nervous about not knowing what to expect. I mean, I've been there twice all, already, but only for three weeks at a time. We'll see if I can actually survive like months at a time. That's the next challenge is uh, not only surviving, but be able to take as much as I can away from this J Japan experience and training with the best athletes in the world, with some, some of the greatest gold medalists, Olympic gold medalists as my coaches. I mean, being an, on an individual sport, like an individual sport, it's, it's only you out there, right? So um, mentally, it's very emotional. You have basically no one to blame but yourself, which is good and bad because, I mean, you don't have to rely on anyone else. That's the, the good part, but the bad part is it's hard mentally losing and um, even winning and then coming home and the letdown is very, very, like the highs and lows. It's part of the roller coaster ride of being an athlete, like I said. Uh, people always ask me if I like, regret um, being such a like, driven athlete and always being away and not being able to do what the average girl does. All my friends are now in university and growing up through high school, they always got to go to the parties on the weekend and um, I was always at practice or training or somewhere in a different country. It's not that I, I don't regret it at all, if that's what people ask me if I regret it. I mean, I'm doing something 
amazing that not everyone gets to do. If anything, they were, they probably wish that they were in my shoes, but they don't realize like how much determination and um, commitment it takes to get there. And um, I wouldn't want to be where they are because I love what I do and it's my dream.